Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrew Olson. If you're new here, welcome just the same. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing Weller's, or one of Weller's new soldering stations, the WLSKD7012A. Here's the unboxing first. As I'm sure you saw in the unboxing, this station comes with a soldering iron, three soldering tips, one of which I have installed in the iron. There's space to store six soldering tips up here on either side of the holder. This holder, by the way, just snaps into the top right underneath, and it sits up there fairly secure. That's also one of the reasons why I got this particular soldering station. I like the design. It's compact, and the iron can be stored right on top of it. I wish that the iron was angled up a little bit more. If I'm standing, or even if I'm sitting like this, it's not at a terrible angle, but having just a little bit higher, almost like an inkwell, would be uh, preferred for me. The unit itself is made of, or the station itself, I, sh I should say, is made of plastic. It's lightweight. In the old days, about 40 years ago or so, this entire thing would have been made of metal. So there's that. This also comes with a sponge. The sponge is, uh, well, I haven't put any water in it, but it's thin, kind of like thick paper. It's almost like uh, pulp paper or cheap cardboard, but I'm sure it'll do. Got an on-off switch. It's a toggle switch. The toggle switch is red when the unit is turned on. This is unplugged, by the way, so I'm not going to light anything on fire. There's a center button for your different um, display options. This is a digital display up here. It's very bright, which is helpful. Two arrow buttons, one on the left and one on the right, are for adjusting your temperature and other functions. If you push and hold the arrow buttons, you can adjust the temperature very quickly up and down, which is convenient. Other functions include units, which is either Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on where you're located. There's also standby and calibration as well. This is a 70 watt soldering station. The wattage of the station or the iron does not determine necessarily how hot the iron will get. It does, however, affect how quickly the iron will heat up and how quickly the heat will be replenished in the tip. This particular unit has the digital display and it's the higher wattage. And those were two of the deciding factors that made me purchase this one over the the more inexpensive version. Now, having said all that, this iron is cold. It's not even plugged in. Let me plug it in. I'm going to turn the iron on. I'm going to touch the tip, which is cold. I'm going to touch the tip to the solder. And we're going to see how long it takes 
for the tip to heat up and melt the solder. Here we go. Going through the uh, the various display options here. read this stuff. I'm not sure how long that took, but it was certainly under a minute. So there you go. Certainly not the slowest. Might not be the fastest, but it could be a lot worse. So, will this soldering station do what I need it to do? Yes, absolutely. Will I recommend it to anyone? Yeah, I will. This soldering station is convenient. It's relatively compact. Everything is within a relatively ergonomic space, design, etc. Um, I think one of the reasons why I gravitated to this, besides having the display and the functionality of being able to keep the iron on top of the station, um, my grandfather had a weller that was similar in design to this one. Not exactly the same. This is kind of a variation on a theme from what he had. This was familiar for me, and while it's not a professional version or professional model, it will do exactly what I need it to do. I have two complaints against it. One, the, the first one is more of just me nitpicking. I wish that it had a knob to dial in the temperature and the other um, options on the menu. Now you saw me adjusting the temperature with the buttons. You just hold the button down and the temperature will zip up and down like that. So it's not slow. For me personally though, I would just prefer to have a knob. I just, I like that about the older machines. And I wish that this one had that as well. But that's just me nitpicking. My real complaint is for the base. It's very light. It's plastic, of course. If I'm trying to unsecure the soldering iron from the base, I'm going to end up dragging this thing all the way across my desk by the time I'm finished with my project. So I have to figure out a way to secure this to my desk. I could weight it down underneath. I'm sure I could put a screw through, a couple screws through the bottom. Not very convenient because then I'll end up destroying it. But I could also build something to surround it and just hold it in place. That's that's not a huge deal, but it is an annoyance. And I really wish that this was um, heavier, if for no other reason than to make it secure. So. That's my big complaint. Will it do what I need it to do? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. I'm sure you'll see me using it on the channel here in the next couple of months. So look forward to that. Thank you all for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought. And I look forward to seeing all of you in my next one.